So I've been watching some YouTube videos over the last couple of days about abstract art. Absolutely love abstract art. Um, I never know if what I'm creating is good enough or not, but I do feel there are a lot more rules to abstract art than it actually looks like there might be. Anyway, I found this great channel last night, Jane Davies. Um, and she is an abstract artist and her information on her channel is really clear and really helpful and I thought I'd put into practice one of the techniques that she used um, and it was basically creating circles. So what I've done here is these circles, um, I'm using collage for all the circles, um, So yeah, so the stripes are actually from a, a watercolour and Mod Podge on copier paper that I made and it has an almost um, tracing paper feel to it. The light green um, semicircles are actually from a toiletries gift set and the page the page is obviously from a book. So what I did with these two is I thought that I would almost try and create opposites. So basically, so that what I wasn't using, wasting um, paper. So I've done horizontal lines with the pen and then I go and do vertical lines with the pen. Um, what was really nice about this was I wasn't actually trying to recreate anything like I wasn't thinking of it as a flower or a person I just wasn't thinking of it as any object I was purely just um creating circles in a non-specific way <laughs> um apart from this one I did think to myself I'll try and do opposites um do you know what it was actually really fun and relaxing doing this I also try and do not in this one, in the next one, um, with my non-dominant hand, I actually try and do some marking with with that and um, I do feel it adds another, an extra dimension. <laughs> I actually find adding marks with the pen one of the hardest things to do because it actually feels like a structured process making these repeated marks um, and, and to me that's not what I would perceive as a way to create an abstract um, piece. So using my non-dominant hand did help here. So this is red tissue paper and actually it was off a foot I'd drawn in a previous picture. I cut up the tights. <laughs> to make little stripes and have tried acrylic pouring art um, and I find it very difficult to get the cells so the light pink circles are actually from what one of those attempts um, and do you know it actually looks nice even without the cells anyway that's a different subject and the little circles are um, from that toiletry gift set again. So this is where I use my non-dominant hand to make some markings. I, th I do think that they look like trees, which did put me off slightly. Um, I used oil pastels this time, which I felt was a lot um, more successful than using the pens because... Um, it just flowed better in my hand when I was using it. Um, I much prefer these ones to the, the green ones. However, it's all a learning curve, isn't it? Yeah, I, I showed you the box of pastels um, just a minute ago. It was just to show you the absolute state that I'm in. <laughs> um, 
but I've had them for about a year and honestly they were a great investment. So this is me trying with my left hand. It's it's hard because sometimes I supported the paper while I was drawn with it and sometimes I wasn't. Um because it just felt like supporting the paper just added a wee bit too much help. So this is the last set of circles, I think. Um, so again, this is an old piece of artwork. It's actually a really nice muted shade of blue. Um, and what I've done is I haven't cut the circle out accurately. I've made, you know, some parts thinner than other parts. Um, that's off an old painting as well. I actually drew the circles in the page using a DVD just so that I, you know, I had somewhere to, a defined area to work in. Um, that's me trying the pen with my non-dominant hand. Do you know, I felt this one ended up looking like a child's robot and, and I wasn't overly happy with it. However, at the end, when I took the pictures of each one on their own, I felt that when it wasn't next to the one in the left, it actually looked, I much preferred the look of it when it wasn't next to, to the other one. So it was actually really so relaxing doing these and it, it was so nice to actually be thinking about what hand will I use instead of almost like what object am I trying to recreate here? Um, so like I said, anyway, I was watching the Jane Davies channel and she is a, an actual abstract artist and she does a lot of printmaking techniques. Um, and I absolutely binge watched her videos last night. I'm adding in some orange here because I just felt like, because the blues were so muted, it just needed something to lift it more. Do you know, I really like the one in the left. Um, it looks so simple. Looks like my grandson completed it. <laughs> but at the same time, I actually feel like out of them all, this one probably was the most successful. Anyway, this is the six of them. So thanks very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating it.